Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Dave. We're glad you're here. Thanks for checking out Kotaku Bonsai. Hey, nice to see you today. This is one of two tanukis that I've been working on over the past couple of years. And we are ready for the next stage, which is uh, securing it in the pot. So we're gonna do a little test fit, look at positions, and then uh, drill some holes and secure this guy down. Now the backstory with this guy is that Cindy and I went down to dig out a juniper around Shenandoah, Virginia a couple years ago. And it was an all day event. It was a lot of hard work. I got it out of the ground just in the nick of time, but before a complete uh, soaking down burst of rain. And it was kind of an adventure, brought it home where it subsequently died. But I was able to chop it up, salvage the dead wood, preserve it. I've been working on this here and there for the last couple of years. And uh, we're gonna graft it this season but today we're just gonna get this secured down in the pot. <clears throat> now in prior videos, I explained how I use some stainless steel risers to lift this off the bottom of the pot. There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, it gives me a negative void underneath the tree or the wood where roots can grow for the live graft. Second is it brings it up and out of the damp environment in the, you know, in the soil. And so I drilled the holes and put on the risers and I was able to position it so that it's balanced. Uh, it's a very large piece, it's pretty heavy. So I definitely wanted it balanced uh, so that it's in the pot, so that it doesn't create more headaches down the road. So as I spin it around, you know, it's fairly stable. It doesn't really wobble. And so we're going to look at, with this movement here, uh, where is it going to best sit in the pot for aesthetics? But I really like this piece. It could definitely use some, some new carving. There's kind of a blunt end there and here, and some of it can be disguised by the foliage in the future, but uh, it's real powerful, but it's, it's pretty elegant too. This one I call the dancer. It's kind of got that like Dave Matthews band dancer silhouette type thing. So we're gonna try a couple different positions and move it here, there, and back and forth and see where, see where it lands. I think I like this position the best. It's slightly off to the side. The movement starts out very gracefully. The apex then lands more on this side, but it's very well stable in the pot there. There's very little wobble. It seems like that balanced the weight. As I spin it, there's, there's really no movement. I mean, wobble wise. So what I'm gonna do is show you where it sits in the pot and we're gonna make some marks, drill some holes and then secure it. So here we are obviously looking down into the pot. You can see those stainless steel risers and I carefully measured them so that about a quarter inch of the base of the dead wood is gonna be under the soil. Because you know you don't wanna see the, the very bottom of this above the soil level. You want it to be a nice composition. So as I fill this with bonsai soil, 
it will be covered at the base but it's going to sit really nice and firmly in the pot there i know some of it's in the shadow but i think you can get where i'm coming from so i'm going to get a sharpie and uh, mark off where we're going to drill Now I'm just going to do a few fine tuning adjustments to get all these lined up well and then we're going to cinch it down. And so here we are, all snug down. What you didn't see off camera was that uh, one of the twists I made broke because I snug it down too hard. So I had to redo that one. But it's uh, real nice and solid in the pot. We got lots of room for new roots to grow. I'll show you. This is the type of graft I'm gonna use and I really like this color. You know, it's fairly bright. And even through the winter time, it didn't really dull all that much. So in the coming years, this is gonna be a really nice match. And now I get to repeat the process for the second pot. Now you can see straight away that this one has a completely different character to it. This one I tend to call the swan because I think of that long goose neck there. It is heavy towards that side. It would, it would tend to lean that way. So in that case, we're gonna bring the base closer to this side of the pot. It's still fairly balanced though. So I'm not too terribly worried. You can see the back side is pretty ugly. I'm still struggling to carve that out, but in, you know, for now, we're going to hide it and show you this side. So we're probably going to bring this pretty far over to something like that. This one stands on four stainless steel legs. And I think, again, it's a very beautiful piece of deadwood. Just needs a little more work through the coming years. But I think that'll be a really nice front to it. We might end up even moving this.
just a little more like that. Because you have to avoid the drainage holes. You don't want the leg to go poking through a drainage hole. So I think right there is going to be our best shot. Just like that. Let's drill some holes and tie it down. So this was a really great project for today. I'm so happy to have these guys tied down into the pots. This has been three years in the making, I believe. And so later on, maybe next month or so, we're gonna graft some live juniper onto this and let it uh, develop into something really special. So. Let me know down in the comments, what kind of stuff are you working on these days, guys? Do you like Tanuki or not? Some people do, some people don't. And uh, generally, thanks for hanging out with me today. See you in the next one.